Do you know that the freight charges which are incurred during procurement may have to be added to the material cost? Do you know that there are three types of freight calculations with shipment process in SAP? Today in this video, let us learn shipment process along with freight calculations for material purchase in SAP. The first one is adding freight charges to the material cost during goods receipt and settling the transport vendor. There would be a business need where the freight charges of the material have to be added to the material cost. For example, purchase cost of the material is 100 rupees and for the freight charges incurred during transportation is 10 rupees. In this case, total material cost will be 110 rupees by adding freight charges to the material cost. This scenario can be achieved through inbound shipment process in SAP. Prerequisites for this process will be having price control of the material that has moving average price and inbound shipment configuration setup. Execute MU21N to create purchase order for the material. In item data, input value to confirmation control under the confirmation tab and save the purchase order. This value allow us to create inbound delivery with reference to purchase order. Execute VL31N to create inbound delivery with reference to purchase order. Execute VT01N to create inbound shipment with reference to inbound delivery. We need to input transportation planning point and inbound shipment type. Click on deliveries icon and input delivery number to link with the shipment document. The purpose of the shipment document is to track the freight vendor, route, stages, shipment timelines, vehicle details, etc. Input freight vendor, route, shipment deadlines as per the shipment stage, check shipment cost estimates for the included deliveries, save shipment document. Execute VI01 transaction to create shipment cost document with reference to shipment document. The purpose of this document is to calculate and transfer the shipment cost to the GL account during goods receipt. Select the line item and go to details. Click on sub item and click on conditions tab to check the freight charges. These freight charges can be calculated using pricing condition technique by maintaining the condition records using TK11 transaction. Freight charges can be calculated in different ways, for example, on weight basis, on distance basis, on tariff zone basis, etc. Save the cost document and create goods receipt with reference to inbound delivery using MIGO transaction. As we can see on the screen, freight charges will be collected from the shipment cost document and posted during goods receipt. Create incoming invoice with reference to material PO with drop down selection material or service item. Create freight invoice with reference to material PO with drop down selection planner delivery costs. Another scenario is freight provision and settling transport vendor. This process is nowhere relevant to the material cost and accounting entries will be maintained separately through service PO concept using inbound shipment concept. Create material PO with confirmation control. Create inbound delivery with reference to material PO. Create shipment document with reference to inbound delivery. Here, we need to change the shipment type since it requires some config change to meet this requirement. Create shipment cost document with reference to shipment document. 
the major change in this process is having transfer checkbox which allows the system to create service preview service center sheet and service gr in background while creating the shipment cost document once the document is saved go to display document and find the service preview and entry sheet under the procurement tab double click on po number to find the purchase order history click on goods receipt document and check the accounting entries as you can see freight provision is created with grir entry create freight vendor invoice with reference to service entry sheet using myro transaction create incoming invoice with reference to material po here the concept is there are two different po documents takes place to handle the material procurement and service the another process is calculating freight charges during goods receipt and settling transport vendor this process would be enabled for the materials which have standard price control create material po create inbound delivery create shipment document create shipment cost document create goods receipt display the material document and check the accounting entries in it in this accounting entries freight will be calculated separately and will not be added to the material cost create incoming invoice for the procured material create freight invoice this is all about shipment process in procurement scenario thanks for watching this video shining off